Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome back, uh, this is lecture number 55 and we will be discussing uh, linear differential equations of first order and we will go through the uh, not only to the linear equations, but also the differential equations that are reducible to linear differential equations and also their uh, solution techniques. So just to recall from the previous lecture where we have discussed integrating factors. So if our equation is given like m dx. Uh, m is a function of x y and n is also a function of x y. If this is a dif uh, this is a given differential equation which is not exact and if we multiply that equation by this function i x y and then this equation becomes exact then we call such a uh, function here the integrating factor. And what we have also seen that how to uh, evaluate uh, integrating factor in some special cases. So, one of them was that if this m y minus n x over n is a function of x only say f x in that case the integrating factor uh, we can evaluate simply by this e power integral f x dx. And also uh, this case here 1 over m n x minus m y if this is a function of y only uh, let us call it a g y in that case also we can compute this integrating factor again as i y is equal to e power the integral of this function g uh, y dy. So, we, we require these knowledge of the integrating factor how to evaluate in these special cases in today's lecture. So, here this linear differential equations which is the topic of today's lecture. So, a first order differential equation is called linear if it can be written in this form. Uh, dy over dx plus uh, px y and is equal to q. So, here this p is a function of x only and the q is also a function of x, but that can be a nonlinear function of x. Why we call this linear? This is basically linear equation in y because this dy over dx appears as a single term here also y is appearing just alone. So, there is no product of y with y or with its derivative. So, this equation is linear in y the function p and the q uh, may have uh, powers of x. So, x square or any other function. So, no restriction on p and q, but this y uh, has to be like dy over dx and here is y. So, that is a general form of first order linear equation which we will be considering in today's lecture. And this we can also rewritten as so, this differential term here d x we can multiply the whole equation by this differential term. So, we will get this differential of y plus p into y and this d x here the right hand side also we will have q x d x. And now, this is the equation which is in this form that m uh, function of x y uh, d x plus n function of x y and d y is equal to 0. So, here this is m uh, with this dx and n x y is just 1 here. And then the right right hand side instead of uh, this 0 we have the sum function of q x dx. So, the important point is here this m uh, dx plus n dy the question is if we can find uh, an integrating factor here for this. So, that if we multiply by that integrating factor so, we get the total differential at the left hand side of this equation. So, let us uh, look at it here. So, m is p y and this n is 1 the coefficient of this d y and if we compute if uh, this 1 over n and uh, d m uh, del y. So, del m del y minus del n del x 
this term. So, what we are getting is just the uh, function p uh, which is a function of x alone. So, what is the point here we can use this now the idea which was explained on earlier slide when this is a function of x only then we have the integrating factor for this m dx and dy term. So, what is the integrating factor? The integrating factor will be this just the exponential of uh, this integral p uh, dx. So, we have this differential equation, we have the integrating factor here e power p dx meaning that if we multiply by this integrating factor this given equation that means e power square root p dx is appearing now here also in this term and the right hand side. Now, this uh, part here the left hand side should be uh, now the differential of some function uh, f x y that is the point after multiplication here this will become the total differential of some function uh, of x y. So, here it is clear now that this uh, term left hand side is nothing but the differential of this e power uh, exponential p uh, d x y. Why this is the differential here? So, if we just compute this e power uh, p d x and y. So, the differential definition is that the partial derivative with respect to x of this given function and then d x plus again the partial derivative with respect to y of this given function and then uh, d y. So, here we have to get this partial uh, derivative with respect to x only. So, y will be just taken as a constant. So, the exponential uh, of this e power uh, integral p d x. So, the exponential the differential will be also the derivative will be the exponential only and then the derivative of this integral p d x with respect to x and that will be coming as p. And here with respect to y when we integrate, so this will, will become 1 and this e power uh, p d x will remain and then this d y term and here we have this d x term. So, this is the total differential of this e power uh, integral p d x y. So, exactly that is what we have here the p uh, into y the p into y the exponential term with this d x and e power p d x with this y e power p d x with this d y term. So, this is the total differential here of this uh, function e power p d x into y and then we have this right hand side as this uh, q uh, an exponential e power p d x and d x. So, what is the point now that we can easily integrate this equation because left hand side we have this uh, differential of this e power p d x y and right hand side is uh, some function of x. So, while integrating this, so we will get here when we integrate this e power p d x y uh, only and the right hand side when we integrate. So, we have q and this integrating factor d x and uh, we have this a uh, constant of integration. So, this is a, a eventually the solution of this given differential equation the given linear differential equation and uh, just to easy to remember we write down as the y multiplied by this integrating factor which we have to evaluate and what is integrating factor. This integrating factor uh, is nothing but this exponential uh, p d x. So, with this integrating factor what we write down the y into this integrating factor is equal to the integral q the right hand side of the linear equation into this integrating factor and we need to integrate here and plus uh, one constant of integration uh, c. So, this is the formula which can be used to get the a solution of the linear equation. So, this q is coming already in the right hand side which was also in the equation and the p comes here in the integrating factor and then we can simply write down the solution of the differential equation. So, here just a note that uh, sometimes the differential equation uh, cannot be put in this form here d y over d x plus p x y is equal to q x meaning that 
it may not be possible to write down this equation as a linear equation in y. This is linear equation in y, the standard equation which we have considered before, but the equation can be uh, put in the form here d x over d y plus p 1 y x is equal to q 1 y. Meaning that instead of uh, writing the equation uh, which is linear in y which may not be possible, but we have to also see this possibility whether the given equation may be written as a linear equation in x instead of uh, y. And once we write down this equation, so now we will be just treating this x as we have treated y before and because this is just the linear equation in x and we know the solution. So, we have to write down the integrating factor where this p 1 y will come now here in the exponential there under the integral and then the solution absolutely the same formula which we have used earlier, but now instead we have x into the integrating factor and the right hand side this q 1 y again with the integrating factor and this needs to be integrated over y and plus a constant uh, c constant of integration. So, that we have to uh, also remember that the given differential equation may not be given as a linear equation in y, but if we uh, look take a close look maybe we can write down this as a linear equations in a equation in x and then we can use again the same idea uh, having the integrating factor and then writing the solution. So, going through the example here the example number 1 we consider that 1 plus x square d y over d x plus 2 x y minus 4 x square is equal to 0. So, first we have to put into this uh, form which we have discussed that d y over d x. So, the standard form usually we considered as d y over d x plus this p the function of x into y and is equal to this q x. So, we will put into this standard form meaning we just need to divide this by 1 plus x square and uh, this minus 4 x, x square we can take to the right hand side. That means, the equation here by dividing this is d y over d x plus this 2 x divided by 1 plus x square with y and the right hand side 4 x square over 1 plus x square. So, this equation is indeed in the in, in the linear form linear in, in y because we have y term here and also y term there. This is a uh, function of x alone. So, this is like p x in the standard form the right hand side uh, corresponds to the q x. Now, since this equation is linear in y we can write down its uh, integrating factor. So, the integrating factor will be the exponential of the integral and this p d x. So, p is 2 x over 1 plus x square and now what is this here the differentiation of this 1 plus x square term is sitting there as 2 x. So, this is nothing but the logarithmic, uh, uh, logarithmic of 1 plus x square. So, here we have exponential of the ln 1 plus x square which is equal to uh, 1 plus x square because the exponential will cancel out this logarithmic. So, we have this 1 plus x square as the integrating factor. So, having this integrating factor now 1 plus x square we can use directly the formula for writing down the solution or we can multiply the given equation by this 1 plus x square and then we can see the left hand side is a total differential of some function. So, uh, the solution was uh, y into the in integrating factor equal to the right hand side the q into integrating factor and we need to integrate over this d x plus a constant c. So, here y into the integrating factor that is 1 plus x square is equal to the q is uh, there 4 x square divided by 1 plus x square. So, this 1 plus x square will be cancelled out with the integrating factor so, we will get 4 x square d x plus c. And now, here again 1 plus uh, x square into y is equal to this is 4 by 3 x cube and plus a constant term uh, c and that is the solution of the given differential equation. So, with the help of this integrating factor we can uh, compute the solution of uh, a linear differential equation as long as this p and q are 
are some simple functions where we can integrate here and can find the uh, integrating factor. The next example here we have x plus 2 y cube and uh, d y over d x is equal to y. So, what do we see here because y cube is appearing here. So, certainly the idea is that we cannot uh, put into uh, the form as linear in y, but we can try this equation to write down as a linear equation in x. And then, so we need to rewrite this as the dx over dy. So, that will go to the right hand side we have dx over dy and minus this x term there and then we need to divide also by y here. So, there will be 1 over y term x and the right hand side will be 2 y square. So, what we have done now? So, the we have x plus 2 y cube and then the right hand side is like d y into d x over d y. So, we divided by y. So, we get this x over y and plus 2 a y square and then this x over y we have taken to the left hand side. So, our equation is d x over d y minus this 1 over y into x and 2 y square. So, with this equation uh, which is linear in x because we have d x over d y term and x here in the right hand side. So, this uh, is corresponds to that p and here corresponds to this q which is which are functions of y alone when we have it in this equation. Uh, linear equation in x. So, we need to compute the integrating factor again using the idea which we developed already. So, the exponential of integral and this term here minus 1 over y dy. So, which is minus of this ln y the logarithmic y or this minus can be taken here 1 over y and then exponential and this logarithmic will cancel out and we will get uh, just 1 over y as the integrating factor. So, the integrating factor for this equation is 1 over y and then we can use the formula that x into this integrating factor which is 1 over y is equal to the right hand side 2 y square and then we have this integrating factor which is 1 over y and d y and plus this uh, constant of integration. So, here this y will cancel out. So, we will get 2 y here d y and then the integration will uh, give us the y square. So, what we have here the x over y is equal to x square plus c and uh, this is the, the solution of the given uh, differential equation uh, the relation between this x and y. Next, what we will consider about these equations which are reducible to the linear uh, forms. So, uh, an equation of this form f prime y and dy over dx plus p and f y is equal to the q y. So, this equation is not linear in y because this f y is sitting here and also the f prime y is sitting here. The linear equation was dy over dx p y is equal to uh, q x. But what do we see here that if the derivative of this term which is sitting with the p here the f and its derivative is just in front of this dy over dx. So, if we can uh, pull our equation in this form if we can write our equation in this form then we will see now that this can be reduced to the linear form by uh, appropriate substitution. And what is the substitution we are going to have it here. So, if we substitute here f y this function here is equal to v some uh, uh, variable name we have introduced here that this f y is equal to v. And then we what we can get if we differentiate this to so f prime v. So, the derivative of f with respect to y. So, f prime y and then d y over d x is equal to the right hand side will be d v over d x. And now, we can substitute and that was the point here that this f prime d y over d x. So, f prime d y over d x is becoming now d v over d x. So, this term is d v over d x then we have p and this f y is v and is equal to q x. So, the new equation which after this substitution this equ equation reduces to d v over d x. So, this term with this uh, derivative uh, d v over d x plus the p into v. So, we have the p there and f y is substituted as v 
and the right hand side equal to uh, the q which is given there. So, what we observe now this equation here, this equation is a linear equation, linear uh, differential equation and that is linear in v. So, this is linear uh, differential equation in the variable v which we can solve for v and then uh, later on we can substitute this v as f y and we can write down the solution in the form of uh, y and x. As a special case here we have the Bernoulli equation and uh, uh, this is an equation this of the form the d y over d x uh, plus p y is equal to q y power n. This such a form of the equation is called Bernoulli equation where this p and q are constants or functions of x. So, they can be functions of x and this n is a constant except 0 and 1. So, it can take any other value other than this 0 and 1 and such equation is called uh, Bernoulli's differential equation. So, this Bernoulli's differential equation is a special case of the idea we have discussed earlier that it can be reduced to, to a linear differential equation by an appropriate uh, substitution. How we can do that here? So, if we divide this y power n, uh, then this equation can be written as this 1 over y power n. So, this y power n goes to the left hand side in the denominator. So, 1 over y power n, then we have d y over d x, then p and here y power n minus 1. So, this was y already. So, we got here y power n minus 1 and is equal to this q, the right hand side. And now, this is exactly the same which we have discussed earlier that uh, the function which is sitting with p, its derivative is somehow coming here uh, as a factor of this d y over d x. That means, if we substitute this 1 over y power this n minus 1, 1 over y power n minus 1 as a function here uh, as a variable uh, v and then what we see. So, if we differentiate here what will happen? So, we have y power n minus n and plus 1. So, when we differentiate minus n power uh, uh, this uh, n minus. So, here we have n minus 1. So, again this was like y power uh, minus n plus 1 is equal to v. So, when we differentiate this what we will get minus n plus 1 and y power minus n plus 1 and minus 1 and d y over d x is equal to d v over d x. This is the differentiation here. So, this 1 minus n term is sitting here and y power minus n is coming here and d y over d x is equal to d v over d x. So, we have exactly the derivative of this uh, written here and now the idea was this y power minus n which is here y power uh, minus n with d y over d x. So, this term will become this d v over d x this factor we can adjust by dividing this. So, once we substitute this 1 over y power n minus 1 is equal to v into this equation, what we will get? We will get 1 over uh, 1 minus n and then just d v over d x. So, because we have to uh, now we can think in this way. So, we multiply this equation, uh, we multiply this whole equation by uh, uh, 1 minus n and also. Uh, so, we can just 1 minus n. So, we have multiplied here 1 minus n, here also 1 minus n and there also 1 minus n. So, this 1 minus n and y power this n minus 1 with d y over d x will become as uh, d v over d x plus this uh, 1 over. So, here 1 minus n will be there and this p 1 over y n minus 1 will be v and the right hand side the q with 1 minus n. And then we can divide again with this 1 minus n factor. So, we will get here 1 over 1 minus n d v over d x plus this p v is equal to uh, this q. Or we can write down in this form itself. So, because this is the standard form of the of the linear equation in v because we have d v over d x term here 
and we have v here together with this 1 minus n which is a constant and this p could be a function of x and then the right hand side this is function of x and multiplied by this 1 minus n. So, this is the linear equation in, in v. So, or this Bernoulli's equation we can convert by this such a substitution to the linear equation uh, in this another variable v and then we know how to solve a linear equation. Going through the examples, so first example we will consider as x square minus 2 x plus 2 y square d x and 2 x y d y. So, this is written as m d x plus n d y form, but we can write down as d y over d x form. So, writing this into d y over d x form, so we have 2 x y and d y over d x plus this x square minus 2 x plus this 2 y square that is the term sitting here. So, we have divided just by this d x. So, we got this equation and now we can take everything of this x to the right hand side. So, we have actually 2 y. So, we divide by x also. So, 2 y and this d y over d x plus this 2 y square over this x which we are dividing. The right hand side goes to now 2 x minus x square and we have divided by x. So, we have rewritten this equation into this form and now if we substitute here this y square as a new variable then its differential derivative is sitting here next to this d y over d x. So, we can convert this to the linear equation. So, with this substitution y square is equal to v we can get this 2 y and d y over d x as this d v over d x and uh, then we can substitute here. So, this term will become d v over d x then we have 2 over x term together with this y square which is v and the right hand side uh, will be 2 minus x. So, this x when we divide we will get 2 minus x there. So, this is the linear equation in v and uh, we know how to solve a linear equation in v. So, we can write down the uh, integrating factor and this is our p here. So, e power this p uh, d x which is uh, x square now. So, 2 ln x or ln x square exponential ln x square. So, here we get this x square. So, v into x square the solution we can write down now. So, v uh, multiplied by this x square the right hand side here 2 minus x into this x square d x and plus a constant of integration here c. So, we get this uh, v as y square we substitute again. So, y square x square is equal to this uh, uh, 2 and this x square d x. So, 2 into x square d x means that when we integrate x cube by 3 this factor will come and this minus this x cube which will become here x 4 divided by 4 and plus this a constant of integration. So, this is the a solution of this given differential equation written in this x y as an uh, implicit form. So, just one more example we will discuss here. So, d y over d x minus this y 10 x is equal to minus y square sec x for instance. So, if we divide by this y square what we are getting 1 over y square d y over d x minus this 1 over y and this 10 x and then we have minus sec x there. So, it is a kind of Bernoulli's type of equation. So, if we substitute here this 1 over y as v and uh, then we differentiate here. So, we will get uh, minus this 1 over y square d y over d x is equal to d v over d x that is coming from this 1 over uh, y is equal to v substitution. And then when we substitute back to this equation here 1 over y square d y over d x that is d v over d x and this uh, 1 over y 1 over y is uh, uh, v this 10 x and this minus sec x. So, minus also we have just multiplied. So, we got uh, this equation d v over d x plus v 10 x is equal to uh, this uh, sec x. And now, this is a linear equation in v which we can uh, solve by uh, calculating this integrating factor. So, the integrating factor uh, will be exponential of this 10 x. 
So, exponential this uh, 10x and 10x uh, will be uh, this after integral will become this ln uh, sec x. So, the integrating factor is nothing but the sec x which we can use now in the solution. So, the solution will be v into uh, this sec x term is equal to the integral here this uh, sec x and then 1 this sec x will come so square dx and plus a constant of integration. So, we get this v into this sec x is equal to the integral of this sec square x that is 10 x plus this constant of integration and uh, this v was nothing but uh, a 1 over y. So, this is 1 over y sec x is equal to 10 x plus c and that is the solution uh, of the given differential equation written in this uh, explicit uh, implicit form of the y and x. So, uh, in fact, this we can write down as an explicit form also because y appears here. So, we can bring everything to the another side of this y. So, the solution can be written in explicit form as well. So, coming to the conclusion, we have gone through the linear equations of order 1 and the standard form which we have discussed was d y over d x plus this p x y is equal to q x and also we have discussed the equations which are reducible to linear differential equations of order 1 again and there we have considered this again very general equation where this f y is sitting with p and its derivative if we see it is it, it's lying here with this d y over d x then by this substitution of this f y is equal to v we can convert this equation into uh, the equation uh, into the linear equation which is in v. Uh, and then we can solve the linear differential equation uh, which we have explained uh, in today's lecture. So, these are the references uh, used for preparing the lectures and thank you for your attention.